years ago, chemistry lecturer Paul Croucher gave up his job and poured his heart into beer. The result, a bronze medal and the urge to push the fledgling business further. The award that we won was, uh, was with one of our very first beers. We entered it into um, Brew NZ, which is a New Zealand brewing competition. And uh, we were absolutely ecstatic about that. We, we turned up and a lot of our peers hadn't won awards. And, and uh, we felt sad for them, but on the same time, oh gosh, we, you know, we, we won this award. So what's so good about the Croucher Brew? It's a very nice beer. It's crisp, it's in a true Pilsner style. It's uh, biscuity, it's nicely aromatic. It's got nice malt flavors and hop flavors. And I think that would go wonderfully with things like calamari or prawns or um, seafood of that kind. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice beer, I like it. And from a Canadian tourist's point of view... Uh, this is uh, delicious. Uh, I just uh, decided to try it because it's the... Uh, they tell me it's the local beer here, so I thought I'd give the Pale Ale a try, and it's actually uh, really good. Uh, it's got a very distinct flavour, and uh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I might have to have more. Neither Paul's family background, a Chinese mother and a Kiwi father, or his academic training has any trace of beer or brewing in it. It was Paul's love of beer which steered him to learn about brewing. I was uh, training to be a winemaker and, and lecturing into the winemaking course in, uh, in Australia. And I was very passionate about that. And then I took a, uh, a job for prestige at Auckland University lecturing into pharmacy. And it was a very good job, but I was starting to move into an area that I wasn't passionate about. And I really wanted to, um, I, I love flavour, I really like, like beer, I like wine. And it just didn't fit very well in the school of pharmacy. So to satisfy his passion, Paul put pints in place of pharmacy. This radical move aroused mixed feelings in his family. I think my mother was devastated that she had you know, brought me up well, trained me to uh, be an academic, and then I apparently throw it all away to run a brewery. So um, there was a lot of issues that, um, to do with support there. My wife's business is a pharmacy here in Rotorua, and uh, that allows me the, the luxury of, of being able to start up a company and, um, and, and not have to draw an income, at least for the meantime. I was not incredibly surprised. I knew it was on the cards because he had mentioned something about a year earlier and, and I wasn't ready because our children were too small and I wanted to be a mum for another year. But, um, but I was very supportive of it because I do believe that what you do in life you have to enjoy doing. So how did Paul learn how to brew beer? It wasn't exactly self-taught. Uh, I made a point of uh, going and visiting other brewers that I thought were, were fantastic brewers, Keith Galbraith up in Auckland, Luke Nicholas up in Auckland and the likes. And I learned techniques from those guys. They were very, uh, very uh, forthcoming with information and techniques and help. Paul has got exactly the right attitude to do extremely well. Um, this brewery w was responsible for some of his training. Um, we, we keep a close t we, we keep in touch with Paul. He often rings. I see him probably every couple of months. Passion is the most important thing for a brewer. In the case of a brewer, you want to make the best beer you can. That's that's what I call passion. He's got passion. The hops, the malt, and the yeast are all critical for making a unique flavoured beer. So we have malts that have uh, been caramelised or they've been toasted. They've been uh, treated in a different way before we get them and we use them in, in, in different proportions in the beer to get different flavours. There's about a hundred different varieties of hops that we can use and they provide different types of bitterness, which sounds a little bit strange, flavour and aroma. And so the, the whole thing with, with brewing is to get a marriage of all of these characters so that they're complementary to each other. Paul's business partner and longtime friend Nigel takes care of marketing. But both of them have to be multi-skilled, especially as the business is small and growing fast. There are lots of difficulties, and uh, it's, it's, it's when you're very, very little, we were learning, we were learning how to, to brew beer in a, in a commercial scale. So there was lots of lots of learnings about how the equipment worked, things like that, right through to um, just dealing with uh, dealing with customers and making sure that we had our sales processes and our ability to distribute the beer and send it around to our customers. Their effort and hard work gained them the Rotorua Emerging Business of the Year Award. At the moment, the Croucher Brewery is producing 2,500 litres a time, but Paul wants to achieve a lot more. 
still that is something we would like to achieve, is to have a really nice brewery, visitor centre, restaurant. For now, Paul and Nigel are happy collecting the accolades their three brews are accumulating. So cheers, keep chasing those dreams, and here's to many more. Well, it's time now for a nice cuppa for me, and that's it from Asia Down Under this week. As ever, YouTube and TVNZ are the places to go to check out our stories again. We leave you with our weekly diary of events. Have a good week, cheers, and see you soon. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.